and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today the 18th of january hope you're all well and let's have a look at what's come across the news today of course we had a mixed earnings driven u.s market last night with goldman sachs result pulling the dow downwards the nasdaq was the only major index to the upside with apple and microsoft both gaining uh, and noteworthy obviously we are at the beginning of earnings season it's going to continue throughout the next two or three weeks uh, there was some positive opinion on the potential for US recession. The narrative was that the timing of this may be pushed back a little bit and the depth may be less, but obviously it's an opinion and we need to make sure that the data reinforces that over the coming days and weeks. US futures are positive in Asian trading. They were neutral to negative early on uh, before the Bank of Japan reported interest rate in their policy statement. We saw not only those move higher, but also Asian indices, the ASX, around about 0.3%. Uh, European equity futures were pointing to a near neutral open, but we think they're just going to edge into positive territory before this afternoon uh, unravels. Uh, the VIX is down below 20, and it has been a very choppy session in the FX. The US dollar index held eight month lows, and as spun higher against the yen after the boj statement uh, gold is over 1900 copper pushed higher but retraced in asia initially before regaining some of that early loss and looks as though there may be some buying pressure coming in oil is testing the top of the range edging over resistance a uh, bitcoin is also doing well over the last few days of course as we reported uh, it has paused over 21,000 but still near early November highs and well worth keeping an eye on. And the BLJ interest rate decision moved everything. It moved, obviously, the yen significantly, which sold off. And also other asset classes uh, did well out of that. Earnings season is in focus. There are some significant com companies reporting over the next couple of days. We've got European CPI out this afternoon and US retail sales and PPI this evening. Those are the data highlights, so lots for the market to digest over the coming hours. It makes sense, of course, to start with the US yen there. We had that response to the BOJ. We absolutely mutilated resistance on the hourly chart. If we look at where this puts it in context of there, you can see a massive reversal there. Are we still actually in this downwards trend channel? Uh, and still well below that 200 MA, but nevertheless, buy-in pressure is evident. Uh, on the stocks, uh, Sunfire Resources had pulled back to $6 to retest the key level it had broken through. But you can see their positive territory today looks as though we may go up and test this key 628 level over the course of the next couple of days, particularly if copper does well. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.